Hello, in this video, we'll continue building the login system. In the last video, we created the login menu widget that we can toggle between the sign in and sign up widgets. It also contains the confirmation screen that will be used to confirm the account. Now we'll create the Cognito user pool to store our user accounts and a Lambda function to add users to the pool. You will need an Amazon developer account. Go to aws.amazon.com. and navigate to the sign in page. Sign in if you have an account. Create one if you do not. Once there, in the search bar, search for Cognito and select it in the menu. Click on Create User Pool. For the authentication providers, select email. As you get more used to using Cognito, you can select the other options as well. Click Next. For the password policy, you can specify what rules you want for the password. For now, you can leave it as it is. In the multi-factor authentication section, select No MFA. In User Account Recovery, Make sure it is enabled and click Next. For self-service sign-up, make sure it is enabled as well. In Attribute Verification, allow auto-send messages and click Next. For the email section, you should have Amazon SES configured if your app is going to production. For now, select the Send Email with Cognito option and click Next. Name the user pool. Disable Cognito Hosted UI. For the Initial App Client section, select the Public Client option. This will allow us to use the AWS SDK to perform the self-registration commands. Give the app client a name. And make sure don't generate a client secret is selected. Expand the advanced app client settings section. Disable all the authentication flows and select the allow user password alt option. Scroll down and click next. Review everything and click Create User Pool. Now that we have a user pool, we can manage our users and begin creating the Lambda functions. In the search bar at the top, search for Lambda. Right click on it in the menu and open in a new tab. Create a new function by clicking on the Create Function button. Give the Lambda a name like Create Account. Then set the runtime to Node.js. You can use the other supported runtimes as well, but I'll be using Node.js. Click Create Function to complete the process. For those who do not know what a Lambda function is, it is just a function that executes code when it is triggered. We will use the API gateway later in the series to trigger it. For this function, we want to create a user incognito. Lucky for us, Amazon Web Services provided an SDK that is included within the Lambda. We can use it to connect with Cognito and perform commands on it. If we take a look at the documentation, We can use the SDK for a lot of other services. You can get the link for the documentation in the video description. If we search for Cognito, we can see a few of them. The one we want is the Cognito Identity Provider. In here, we can see how to use the functions in the SDK. Search for Sign Up and hit Enter a couple of times. 
you should see the documentation for the sign up command. Expand it and click on Command API Reference. If we look at the description, this command is used to register a user for Cognito. If we scroll down, we can see how to use it. Copy the import statement and paste it at the top of the Lambda function. Now go back to the documentation, copy everything else and paste it inside the Lambda function. For the client, replace config with a pair of curly brackets and put region, colon, and the region you are in. Inside the input object, remove everything except for the client ID, username, and password. The client ID is for the Cognito User Pool App Client ID. To get it for the one that was created earlier, search for Cognito in the search bar at the top. Right click on it in the menu and open in a new tab. Select the user pool. Go to App Integration and scroll down to the App Client section. Select the App Client and use the client ID in the Lambda function. For the username, type event followed by square brackets and put username inside. The password will be the same but with password. When the Lambda gets triggered, we'll get an object that contains information like the username and password. Save the code and deploy it. To test this, click on the arrow next to the test button and select configure test event. Give the event a name like sign up test. Then edit the JSON by setting the first property to use a name and use a valid email you want to test with. For the next property, replace it with password and use a random password. Click Save, and then run the test. You can see that the test was successful because we received a 200 status code. If we navigate to our user pool's dashboard, and click on the Users tab, we can see our account. That's all for this video. In the next video, we'll create another Lambda function to confirm the account so we can log in with it. If you find this helpful, give the video a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel.